Hello and welcome to the best $1,500 gaming PC builds of the month for November t November 2021. Uh, my name is Corey with uh, NoobComputerBuild.com. Here we are with the monthly update for the $1,500 build. There's been some changes in the PC hardware world, so before we get into it, I just want to point them out. So Intel has released some uh, new uh, CPUs, the Alder Lake CPUs. Uh, I'm just loading up the Intel site here. They're the 12th gen Intel Core processors. Uh, they're not included in these uh, builds, by the way, but uh, they may play into it over the next few months. However, uh, upon release, they won't be included, but that's uh, notable news. And with that comes exciting announcements like DDR5 memory, which uh, will come out with your Alder Lake, not come out, but will be compatible with Alder Lake CPU systems. And so uh, some benefits for DDR5 is that um, they have about 50% more bandwidth, they're more power efficient. Um, however, they cost about 50 to 60 percent more so you will need a new mother compatible motherboard if you're going with uh, some of the new alder lake C cpus you'll need more expensive memory and plus um just with the nature of cpu releases and the nature of the chip shortage over the last year will you be able to get your hands on one that may be a little bit iffy and uh will they cost a little more than what they should be at when they release probably <laughs> given releases over the last year but in case you want to wait uh, that may be a noteworthy release uh, that you want to pay pay attention to. But let's dive into it. Let's dive into the $1,500 gaming PC build of the month for November 2021. This build is for those that want to max out gameplay at 1440p, 1080p, and play at high FPS settings and high settings in uh, most of all games out there. So this is kind of that sort of build. Leaves you options for many upgrades. Uh, some of them could be aesthetic. Some of them could be cooling. Some of it depends on how you want to push it. But this is kind of that build where you want to start and that you can probably just max out uh, without doing too much too. So here we go. Starting with the CPU, we have the AMD Ryzen 5 5600X at $309 at the moment at the beginning of the month here. Uh, and then the cooler we include is the stock cooler, the stock AMD Wraith Stealth Cooler, but you do have the option up, uh, to upgrade that. And we'll get into that in some of the hardware alternatives that I'll mention below. Motherboard we have here is the MSI MPG X570 Gaming Plus motherboard at $149.99. Graphics card we have is currently, this one is the MSI Gaming G GeForce RTX 3070. Uh, this one is currently available. It is more than MSRP, as all graphics cards are. If you haven't been following uh, the builds in the last month or any PC hardware stuff in general over the last uh, year and a half or so, uh, however, they are available. So supplies there. This one costs one thousand one hundred sixty nine ninety nine at the moment. M keeping in mind that MSRP for RTX thirty seventies is four ninety nine, but you can get your hands on that. Otherwise, keep a look at your kind of local computer store and things like that, uh, seeing when they come into stock. I know a lot of places around me, you have to go into the shop and they don't sell their stuff online. So uh, check where you can. There's some on eBay and things like that, but don't pay too much over MSRP. Um, I mean, you do, you have to do what you gotta you got do, but uh, alternative cards, if you don't have as much to spend or you find none of these are available, you could consider something like an RX 6700 XT, about 850 at the moment, or an RTX 3070 Ti, which is a little more, mind you, but not too much more, such as this, uh, such as some that I found for around $1,275 at the moment, just to keep keep that in mind. The memory we have, 16 gigabyte Crucial Ballistics, 3600 megahertz DDR4 RAM, 8499 uh, at the moment. Storage we have is a Crucial P2, one terabyte NVMe SSD, 8399. Power supply, EVGA, G5, 750 watt power supply at $104.99. And then this cool looking case, the Mas Cooler Master Masterbox Pro 5 ARGB case at $89.99. Great price. And overall, this build comes into if all said together and you want to pay maximum for your GPU, it's realistically going to come in at $1,992. I know this is the $1,500 gaming PC build, but these budgets are based on the theoretical should be cost. And it does co cost a little over that. Mind you, it's down from previous months and it's going down a little more. If GPU was at MSRP, it would be well below $1,500 at the moment at $1,350. Keeping in mind, November is always a great month to build because you can get deals, easy deals on Probably not graphics cards and probably not the higher end uh, performing hardware like your CPU, but you can probably get deals on maybe some motherboards this month with things like Cyber Monday and Black Friday or memory for sure always goes on sale. Uh, storage solutions, power supplies, different cases. Uh, so do keep an eye out for that if you are building a PC this month. If you do have some money for upgrades or hardware, you want ideas for upgrades for the future or now or you have more money to spend uh, and uh, over and above the graphics card, mind you. Uh, you can consider other upgrades, like you can get an RTX 3080 graphics card, for example. There's some, uh, like the Zotac Gaming GeForce RTX 3080 Trinity for $1,549 at the moment. 
bump up that CPU to a higher performing CPU, such as the Ryzen 7 5800X for about $386.66. You can bump up your memory to two 16 gigabyte sticks, so 32 gigs of uh, memory of Kingston Fury Beast. This is an RGB kit, so it also looks cooler if you're into that. Uh, $154.99. And you can upgrade your cooling if you want to overclock the heck out of your CPU, uh, such as this Be Quiet Pure Loop 360 millimeter all in one uh, CPU cooler. They also have other sizes as well, which are a little cheaper. Uh, this comes in at $119.90 at the moment. So, this is if you have a little extra to spend, but. There you go, $1,500 gaming PC build a month. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. Please subscribe to keep up to date with these builds every single month. Otherwise, visit, visit the site at newcomputerbuild.com where we have many more builds like this or check out the other videos that we post with other budgets as well. Best of luck building.